Okay, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to talk about client.js. And I'm probably going to ramble a bit because the basics of it is pretty simple. Um, it just starts your Sapper app. Okay, so on the client. So here on the server, this is taking care of the server, the back end. This is just imported into, so down here in this complicated way, it is imported into the client, just normal script tag. And then it runs and it says start the separate. Okay, so that's about all there is to it. I'm going to talk a bit more about it though, because just hopefully it will be useful or help you help it be a bit more intuitive if it doesn't make sense. So for example, if I do console.log hi, this is just JavaScript running on the client. So the client being the user, right? So here it says console.log hi. So that's pretty simple. You can do anything in here. I can even like document uh, dot query selector body and then make the body style dot background equal green or something like that. So this will just run and there it is green. Okay, so just normal JavaScript, um, fairly straightforward. There's some things you can do here that it talks about source client. It says right here, like this is all it really needs to do, but then there are some other things. So there's starting, which go to prefetch um, and things like that. So I'll probably talk about those in some other video. And oh, the other thing is here. So it says target is hashtag sapper, um, which is right here. So there's a div in the template that says that ID equals sapper. But you'll see here it has sapper.html. So this seems to be, I'm not positive, but it seems to be doing the exact same thing as this. So if I comment that out um, and I refresh, it seems like it still works. Okay, so it says dev client connected. So I can still console.log here. So like, right, see? But uh, I've commented that out. And I think that's because of this sapper.html, because if I delete that, then it'll break, right? So you're like, oh, you need that. But do you need that? Because if I uncomment this here, then it's working again. So it seems like you need one or the other. Um, you might need both. I don't know. Uh, maybe this is doing something different. I'm not sure. So I would suggest keeping both of them. But it's something to be aware of if you want to do weird things like this. So let's say I wanted to, or wait, I'll put that back in there. And then I make another one ID equals sapper two. And I don't put the sapper.html in there. And I make this target number two, save. Then I'll get two of them like this. So pretty confusing, but I don't know, maybe that would be useful for something. Um, the other thing you can do is, so sapper.start returns a promise. So after it started, you can do something like this, dot then, and write whatever code you want right here. So like document.query selector um, body dot style dot background equals orange. Oops, something like that. And now we have this monstrosity. Okay, and it's really confusing because the links <laughs> uh, interesting. So it'll this up here will changes. This link is bound to that. So this here, this the the JavaScript is initializing the second one, and that's being controlled by this. So I wonder if I change this there and I go back and I put this inside of two, so now they're switched, it'll still be like that. Okay, so now if I click here, oh, now the top one is being controlled. Okay, cool, bye.